ultimate teaching. He's cool people, man. He is a noble man because uh, he allowed myself and other architect students come in and get hands-on experience. You get a lot of hands-on experience in the architecture building and in the program, but you really get to learn. You really get to know you what don't architecture. See real is about. projects. Yeah, like this is a first. I think another thing with uh, Estemios is he's really encouraging, but he really knows his stuff. And when you get him in a crit, he doesn't punch you to the ground. Critique, not uh, critique. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't punch you to the ground, but he'll he'll give you um, explanations on how it could be better, what you could have done to make it better. Estemios has taught me some life skills. He's helped me, in a sense, be in a sense be more one with myself. Because architecture is just not this thing with school, it's everything is life, it's all your tools and how Famous explains it, you want all your tools sharp. So you get the whole experience here, not just what you get from the program or what you get from your books or what you get from your colleagues, you get the whole parameters. So, so you bring this out this way and so then we build be up, there will be landscape. Okay. And the staircase will also extend to six feet like so. So from here to there will be six or okay. Because smoking the smoking the, the, the tobacco companies have designed our death. Oh yeah. So That's we're gonna design right? our life. <laughs> so this is a, a, a sketchbook on on, a, on the road, you know. And you just do take a minute of each sketch. Or no more than a minute. But at the same time to me it's architecture. It's, and then underneath we can make a little brackets. And one thing about Femios is he keeps, you only know 10% of his life with the teaching. He does so much more, so, so much more. And I think he should get more credit for how he inspires students. I know Casey and I took 101 and loved it. To come to class and then draw in your notebook and by the end have a portfolio and not even know it. It's just a beautiful thing. This is my sketchbook that I use again to, as I said, you know, to draw and to write uh, his uh, thoughts of truth, dignity, and grace. For me, that time was the three pillars of life. So that for me, education is not just to become a technician of some kind, because you can become a technician by a book. Mm -hmm. Education is about understanding culture understanding the, how we develop as humans, understanding what happens to us as people. It's an effort that we have to go through to become humans. We cannot assume that we're humans just because we, are, we, we were born. It's to understand what another human being is, to understand the worth of a life. And when we take a life away, what does exactly that mean? In my opinion, is always we have to treat it like this is the last building I will ever build. You always have to look at it that way. Then you do the best you can for now. Like Mr. Toyota he used to say, you know, this is the best car for today. Come tomorrow, we will make a better car for you. So this is the best we can do today. Uh, me and the team and everybody uh, has worked on this together. If you're really uh, going after your individual glory, your individual pursuit, you're already a failure. A what? Uh, you're already a failure. You're already a failure from the beginning, before even you start. Because the goal is not people, it's not humanity. So it goes back to what we said earlier, how to become human. It's about others. It's not about me. It's not about you. I mean, I have, I have nothing, but I have everything. You're asking me questions like that. I have to throw off myself so I can answer it. Like about my cat. It's a. He amazes me every time how smart he is. <laughs> he is so smart that when I get upset with him lately because he meows, he starts meowing at 
5 30 6 o'clock meanwhile his food comes at 7 30 or 8 o'clock something like that and he knows i don't like him to meow so now he has find a new way of meowing without sound so he just moves his mouth <laughs> just to look at him doing that it's like <laughs> It cracks me out. I mean, how does, how, do you, how does he thought to come up with a new way of you know, of of meowing? You know. Don't you spray him with water when he meows? <laughs> yeah, I start spraying him with water just to shut.